I've been feeling a bit lost lately. If there's one thing that my self-improvement journey taught me, it's that we are not who we think we are. We are much more. We are multifaceted beings who have been conditioned into believing that we must compartmentalize ourselves to be successful. Through months of deep introspection, I've rediscovered numerous aspects of myself that got lost in this conditioning. And yet the more I learn about myself, the more I realize that I know absolutely nothing about myself. Who was I before I was told who to be? When I look in the mirror, I don't always recognize the person that I see. Sometimes I see a young, ambitious mind with an insatiable hunger for tangible results such as money and cars. Other times, I see a sensitive, creative mind who seeks abstract results like feelings and memories. In being a content creator, finding the balance between these conflicting aspects of myself is ideal, but in the pursuit of happiness, it is essential. But one thing I've learned about happiness is that if you chase it, you'll never catch it. True happiness comes from within. It is a choice. If you place your happiness in your desires, you're only pushing it away. Sometimes I wonder if my desires are genuine or if they're only there to justify my underlying desire for the chase. I like to believe that the journey is the destination. There are no true destinations in life except for death. And even that might be a stop along the way. I know that the only way for me to find the balance that I seek is through experience, living my life, being present. But to be present is to surrender my desires, and to my ego that feels like giving up. Yet my past has taught me the difference between giving up and letting go. To give up is to have no faith in the fulfillment of your desires. To let go is to have unwavering faith. It is the ultimate display of confidence, the ultimate power move. It is the rejection of the chase in favor of gratitude. And yet, this understanding fades away when I see others doing better than me. I know deep down that my ego doesn't want what they have. It wants the external validation that those things bring. But seeking external validation is like trying to fill a funnel with water. A hit of dopamine to remind you that you are worthy of existing. I see the big picture of who I am, but I often get lost in the details, like how others perceive me. I often think about my legacy. What will people remember me for when I'm gone? But truth be told, it won't matter. I'll only be remembered in the minds of people who will one day be gone as well. And over time, my legacy will fade into oblivion as others take my place. Bearing that in mind, the best way to build a legacy is to do it all for yourself. As selfish as it sounds, I feel like that's the greatest service that one can provide to humanity. By embracing all aspects of yourself, you are showing others that it is okay to do the same. It is okay to reject the addiction to external validation in favor of internal validation. So moving forward, I will no longer be a slave to the perceptions of others. I will not create content for views or validation. I will create content for me, for myself. And in doing so, I will change the world.